Hello, good evening, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a analysis of the European markets for the uh, uh, end of day analysis for Tuesday the 19th of uh, April 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignal.com to uh, gain the latest analysis on the markets. You can download the app at Google Play and Google App Store. Okay, now in terms of European market finish yesterday, uh, we um, <clears throat> certainly had the the markets uh, rebounding uh, quite sharply and uh, shaking off the Doha concerns on the back of um, numerous factors. We had uh, European data mixed, although the ZEW from Germany and uh, Europe certainly came in slightly stronger. And uh, the weaker US data certainly, uh, even though helped the euro move higher, uh, certainly helped the markets remain float, mainly due to oil oil rebounding and hitting the $41 level. Okay, so uh, let's try and break this down now. So from a, um, a um, market perspective, uh, in terms of data, we've um, uh, bringing up the BOE uh, Carney. We did have a speech, although it was neutral. Uh, dairy auction as well, certainly came in stronger, so helped commodities to a large extent. And towards the close, obviously, we had Quake back online and the uh, the actual Ru Russian uh, news with regards to uh, no more OPEC meetings. So again, you can't job on the oil market, and the oil supply certainly came out stronger than expected, so therefore putting weakness on the uh, oil price as well. Okay, so <clears throat> in summation, uh, oil certainly is into resistance. If I bring up the chart of oil, given the Russian news, given the oil supply news, let's just bring up the chart of oil for you. Okay, so let's go to a daily chart first and foremost. And uh, you can certainly see you, you have weakness. The double top certainly has been confirmed, and we are now potentially looking for a lower high. Uh, the lower high certainly is more or less in place. If I just bring the chart, you can see that we've retraced, and the lower high certainly is in place. Now, the 60 minute chart, we did actually push higher than expected. We pushed beyond the gap fill, even beyond previous support equals resistance, which was very, very impressive. So, so again, Just putting your diagonal trend lines together on the 60 minute chart, you can see that we are now potentially, we will certainly held that resistance zone. And the Russian news, along with the um, news from uh, the oil supply data, certainly put a potential flaw in the oil price. Okay, so we are now looking at breaking out of this uh, obviously uh, rising, uh, expanding wedge type pattern. And you do have the case now for a potential HS as well. So keep an eye on this potential pattern. So your left shoulder obviously is in. You're looking at your head and then obviously your right shoulder then obviously before we move down so certainly weakness for in terms of oil from my perspective okay certainly looking for weakness looking to potentially push lower here. Uh, retest this is a zone here around the 40 dollar level uh, especially given the fact that the um, the actual uh, news from russia was certainly very bearish in the sense that uh, it uh, was anticipating no further uh, opec meetings until there was a concrete plan which really is is more or less a uh, a sign of weakness, and also obviously quite back online as well. Uh, that again will uh, help support oil price. Well, certainly enforce will was helping support oil prices, but that obviously has the reverse effect. Okay, so oil certainly is into uh, resistance, so it finds weakness, and we are looking to potentially move lower from my perspective, especially with the Doha failure. Okay, looking at copper as well, you can see that the copper on the daily chart is into that 200 MA. So therefore, you are looking at uh, seeing resistance there as well. Uh, the four-hour four hour chart of, of uh, copper certainly has exhausted its move now, looking for weakness. Uh, and uh, as you can see here, we certainly are finding weakness immediately, looking to retest this breakout level here, back down to the 2.17 level. Okay. Now, in terms of the uh, the actual indices, let's just bring up the euro stocks for you, folks. Okay. So uh, even though yes, we are aware it's draggy on Wednesday. Bear that in mind. Draggy on Wednesday. Okay, so it'll be interesting to see how that uh, unfolds. Okay, although the euro certainly has pushed higher. I'll bring up the chart, the euro USD, and uh, go to a daily chart. You can see that we are testing this resistance zone here. Okay, so you have resistance here and here. So uh, whether Mr. Drag can talk the euro down to that 1.15 level should be very interesting, and we'll see how that unfolds. Okay, the four hour chart certainly is coiling up here, uh, looking for a potential uh, HS formation. So again, that certainly one needs to remain uh, obviously uh, open-minded in terms of the next potential move in the uh, the euro usd okay right 
In terms of the bond, let's just bring up the bonds quickly as well. Whilst we're looking at the euro, euro bonds, looking at potentially holding support, pushing higher. So it certainly does favour a potential lower move on the euro in terms of Draghi. Okay. So again, going to remain open-minded. Euro stocks, uh, daily chart certainly is into resistance. So whether or not we sell off prior to Draghi, that's a difficult, difficult question altogether. Okay. Uh, now the 60-minute uh, chart, again, a resistance, okay. Uh, the 10-minute chart on the Euro stocks, again, resistance, no higher highs, okay. And bear in mind, you do have the unfill gap below. So that unfill gap at 3060 certainly remains um, open, and that certainly does uh, look as if it will be closed prior to Draghi. So again, certainly some uh, something to uh, contemplate over as well. Okay, bringing up the German DAX, German DAX has rallied. To a large extent, it's already factored in any potential bullish move from the uh, the e ECB, Mr. Draghi. It's into its 200 MA. Although, if Draghi if Draghi kind of continue to talk the uh, euro down, then obviously you are looking at that gap fill being closed at 10,700. So again, open-minded. It could go either way. 60-minute chart of the German DAX, given the fact that we broke out, looking to potentially retest that breakout level at uh, 10,100. The 10 minute chart does have an unfill gap below, so again, the unfill gaps will be potentially targeted. So, looking for this gap first of all to close at 10,120. So, certainly quite an impressive fall if, if we do get one. Okay, so again, prior to Draghi, we may well look to flush and then obviously look to bounce thereafter. Okay, now in terms of the uh, French CAC, let's just bring the French CAC, the important indices here. Daily chart is coming up to horizontal resistance. You can see the topping tail there, you've got the 200 MA. And you have unfilled gaps above, so bear that in mind. The 60-minute chart of the German, of the French CAC, double top resistance, certainly is holding pretty well. 10-minute chart, you have the unfilled gap at uh, 4507. So again, all eyes on that unfilled gap, looking to potentially close. The FTSE 100 now. FTSE 100 obviously due, uh, under pressure due to... I am actually short uh, FTSE overnight as well. Uh, and the FTSE is expected to come under pressure due to obviously oil being coming back online. And the Kuwaiti oil production uh, certainly work online given the uh, strike. Obviously, Russian news, and you have the uh, the whammy, the triple whammy, should we say, uh, in terms of the oil supply data being stronger than expected. Okay, so the weekly chart really just sum it up for the FTSE 100. We are into resistance at the 200 MA. You have a lot of turbulence in this zone on the weekly chart. Daily chart, the FTSE 100, we already know we have that resistance at 64. We did hit a bit high of 6420 yesterday. So looking for further weakness again any any retest will be back to 6220 okay the uh, 60 minute chart let's just bring that up for you as well so a failed bull flag formation so a veil full flag formation generally means the market consolidates attempts to push higher fails okay and then obviously you have any more to move in the opposite direction so looking to uh, potentially retest this pivot low here and this pivot low here is so the first pivot low 6310, the next one obviously 6260. So watch out for those two below. The 10 minute chart, again, potential double top, looking to retest is a zone back at 6350. That will be your first support level, and then obviously you are looking at 6315. Okie dokie, right. That's the situation that we find ourselves in, in terms of the FTSE 100. So the summation there really is uh, that you are expecting weakness, okay? That's probably the best way of summing this up. And uh, we are looking for a weakness going into the the following day, uh, on a Wednesday, the 20th of April. Okay. Now, please be sure to visit CFDs.com. Uh, it's especially since we're making a CFD brokerage in up to two and a half thousand pound with our 25% cash bonus offer. Terms and conditions apply. Goodbye now, folks.